I am back from another hiatus to show you guys the best game user settings. And you may be thinking, you did this like two months ago. Yes, I did, but you guys are still not getting it. Respectfully, I'm here to give some more tips, rectify some issues, and help improve your FPS this season. You want to type in your Windows search percent local app data percent. Now, if nothing comes up, type in run, go into this, and just type in the same thing. Now, this will bring you to here. You want to press F on your keyboard, click on the Fortnite game or double click should i say saved config windows client you'll know the drill and you should see game user settings now the elephant in the room yes you can get this in my discord server and it's only in here because youtube blocks links from the description but i wouldn't recommend it yeah you can download it copy and paste and replace a file and get everything i show you in this video but to avoid any issues just follow the video change these things for yourself and you'll be handy dandy trust dice is a number one rated crypto casino and sportsbook on trust pilot that offers a wide range of games and esports betting. Yes, you heard that correctly. Esports betting with the best odds and the best potential betting opportunities. My personal favorite is definitely Valorant. It's the closest to Fortnite. As you can see, here are the odds. Again, probably the best odds of all crypto casinos. For example, if I put in one Bitcoin, I could potentially win almost and double back. And did I mention that your first bet is 100% risk free, which means if you win, you keep your earnings, and if you lose, they'll cover it for you. There's also a faucet that allows you to claim free currency every six hours, plus other bonuses to reward you so make sure to head over to trustdice.win slash esports link will be down below but remember gambling is a risk do not gamble with money you can't afford to lose and understand that success is not guaranteed so opening up your game user settings also thought i'd mention this you can actually keep your attributes read only unticked it used to be a big myth and i used to say it myself i've learned now that having this ticked as real read only would mean fortnite won't change anything in your settings and you know you'll go and it'll be good and fine but when there's a new season and there's cutscenes and stuff like that it's gonna get a bit tentacle and also it causes more damage than good so keep this unticked getting straight into this full screen mode make sure this is on zero this is equivalent to full screen you don't want to be using anything other than in full screen it will just induce latency whether you like it or not if you want to get the best fps and the lowest latency you need to be in full screen the shortcut control f and it will bring in this or open this and you can kind of search things so you could search in you know full screen and then press enter and it will show you everywhere which has the word full screen in it just so it's easy to follow but yeah full screen zero motion blur set that to false so just literally changes it may it may say true type in false show grass changes to false bit of a placebo it works placebo works scientifically be show fps Yes, people actually say that having this on false uh, increases your FPS because it's less HUD, you know, less stuff on the screen. People say, you know, lowering your HUD in the game also improves FPS. It actually kind of does. It's, uh, you know, it's one less graphic, maybe one FPS potentially. Make sure you use GPU crash debugging is set to false. Stop rendering background is set to false. Fort anti-aliasing method is on disabled. B enabled DLS frame generation is on false. Temporal super resolution quality is on custom. And then basically just copy this, have it on zero. To clarify that is DLS quality. You can copy these. It isn't gonna be a make or break because everything else will kind of dictate this. It kind of just saves you having to like switch to performance mode, but go back to DX11 first to change all them settings. Then switch to performance mode because I mean they're really confusing. But basically, when you use performance mode, your DirectX 11 settings still matter. So this kind of just mitigates you having to go into DX 11 and switching back to performance mode if you want to use performance mode at the best performance. Ray tracing, of course, have this to false again. Like this is just copying all of this stuff. None of this will be different for any of you because you're gonna be on performance mode if you want the best FPS and lowest latency. An important one though, display gamma. Make sure that is on 2.7 with I believe that is six zeros. Wait, one, two, three. Oh, five five zeros all of this is just nonsense i think you can edit it but i don't know what it's gonna do just it'll mess up your game likely scrolling down b disable mass acceleration have this set to true it will potentially change itself and revert itself but that is because it is a placebo it actually doesn't really do anything as long as your mouse uh acceleration is disabled in windows you are all good to go i think i may as well just show you how to do that all right now i cannot type there we go mouse settings just go into your mouse settings and windows uh additional mouse settings we're gonna go to uh, where am i okay point options make sure enhanced pointer position is disabled yes just turn that off and then press apply okay that window setting will also override any like logitech mouse 
program software settings, your mouse software settings, but I don't think they will ever have this as an option anyway. Some more important ones, be use VSync. So basically VSync, make sure that is on false. Unless you have the most god awful PC and you don't break 60 FPS or you rarely get over that. Yeah, maybe you want to use VSync, but you then need a full VSync setup. So you probably want to watch a separate video on that. Resolution size X and Y and last use confirm resolution size X and Y. Have this on 1920 by 1080, which is native. It will give you the lowest input lag, like because most of you guys are just not doing stretch res properly. But I did do a video. I'll link it in the cards or down below where I spoke about stretch resolutions and I'll probably make an updated one uh, shortly. For now, native. Make sure last user confirm full screen is also on zero. Uh, I think the first setting I shown you or the first command line I shown you uh, would have done this, but make sure that's just set just to be safe if you want to be in full screen. Audio quality level, mine is on zero. I believe this is equivalent to low. I could be wrong and it could be high. In that case, you want it set to one, but I'm pretty sure this is low. That's something I can't change. Yeah, if you load in and your, your audio quality level is on high and you have a really bad PC, so this is only for you guys with really bad PCs, you'll want to change this number to one, which will then put you onto low. But assuming this is already low, you're good to go. And if you have a good PC anyway, high doesn't really matter. You'll maybe lose like 10 frames, potentially end game, maybe a little bit more, but no more than 20 on average. And there are benefits. A lot of pros will play with high audio quality because it really gives you a competitive advantage with quite a little performance decrease. So totally up to you. Something to check though. Frame limit. Mine's on 240 because I have a 240 hertz. If you have a 240 hertz, set it to 240. If you have any other refresh rate on your monitor, you will want to change it differently. If you have a 60 hertz refresh rate, have this set to 120 or 144. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, set this to 165. And if you have anything above 240 hertz, so 360 hertz or anything even above that, I don't know why you're watching this video. Please donate to me on Twitch. All this is just malarkey, ray tracing. Yeah, set it to false. Now resolution quality, interestingly, set to 99. Trust me, instead of having us on 100, 99 will make a performance increase. Um, there's a guy called Corvy Tech who kind of looked into this. You'll have to go and check his YouTube channel. Great guy. I think his name's now just Corvy on YouTube or Corvy Games. I don't know. I'll link him down below. But if you want to kind of dig out the reason for this, do it. But it will give you a performance increase. It's like changing one number and it's not going to make your game look any difference quality wise. And it helps. Source, trust me, bro. View distance quality. Have this set to one. It helps preload frames quicker and weapons in the distance without being like, it's not, I don't, it's not set to high. I think this is like medium. I'm not sure like what I call it. Um, but it isn't set to the lowest. It just helps kind of rendering things faster. And it means as simple as I can put it, saves them rendering when you're closer to them in fights and that could drop your performance and maybe get you killed in game. All of these have them on zero for this quality. Mine's on one. You can have it on zero. And if you want, copy my chat settings because yeah, it won't do anything, but feel free. Now, once you've done all of that, press file, save. You are now done. Yes, you're done. I'm not going to save it because I didn't change anything. And again, this folder is in my Discord server, but I reckon recommend you just don't go there. If you have any issues as well, to clarify, it's in the announcements channel. A lot of people will join my server and they don't like, they don't know. It's in the, it's in the announcements channel, guys. I, I, I say this every time. If issues arrive, you can come over to here right underneath this. Um, it'll be a little, you have to scroll up a bit, but right underneath this and there's a fix for everything. So no game audio, fix here. Getting error code, uh, required Mr. Shaders, the fix is here. Running mode stuck on performance mode, the fix is here. Losing hope, the fix is here. But basically, if something is going wrong and and like you have an issue which is like 0.0.0001% chance. Open up your Epic Games launcher, go to when it loads, library. Now I'm doing an update so it won't work. I can't demonstrate this exactly, but go to options, your install options, make sure these are set correctly. If this does not help, go back here instead of going to options, you can press verify. There will there will be an option to verify. That will basically just reset your game config to its default values. And you can go from there and kind of figure out the issue, but you won't have to. This has never happened and any issues there's a fix here very rare chance maybe if you have a terrible pc something will come up but we're here to optimize and improve that so yeah if you really get these issues it's time to upgrade Th these settings are not gonna help 